Hey guys, Dave here. Um, I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk about my helmet a little bit today here and, and show it off to you guys. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments, questions about this on social media um, as well as YouTube and I thought this would be a good, good opportunity to show it off and um, just kind of let you know what I use and see if it's something that you might be into. Um, not sponsored for this video in any way, this is a, a helmet that I chose to purchase and that I ride with. So. Um, this is a Rurock Berserker helmet, um, and I'll put a link in the description below for their webpage. Um, it's a DOT and ECE certified helmet, um, and it's uh, kind of unique in its appearance. They've got some really cool graphics on their webpage. Um, I went with, I think it's called the El Diablo, but I kind of like the top to me. It looks like a dragon, so um, I like dragons. I thought it was kind of cool, um, so I went with that. Um, I've got a GoPro mount here, so that's something that I've added after the fact. It doesn't come with the GoPro mount, but you can order that on their webpage, so keep that in mind. Um, it's got good ventilation, um, so you've got front vents here in the front. You've got um, some side vents here on each side. You've got a top vent here um, that kind of breaks into the, into the visor there. And then you've got some exhaust vents here in the back. So. Um, actually you've got exhaust, exhaust, and then some more exhaust back here. So um, I have only had an opportunity to ride this uh, in the colder months, so I haven't had an experience yet with this in hot weather, so keep that in mind. Um, but I have got enough, you can see it's dirty, I've gotten enough use in this through the winter time that I can make a good comment on how it's um, doing as far as insulation in the winter time. So uh, they do make some little inserts for this um, and uh, I actually don't have any in. You can actually shut down the uh, the front vent but I did get some uh, some of the plugs that they make on their webpage for the side vents and the top vent. Um, now keep in mind I have not installed those yet. Um, I have ridden in sub freezing temperature and um, I have not needed them. That's why I haven't installed. There, there's an, uh, a lever in here so you can close the front vent as it is. And I just find that closing that up on the cold days is plenty enough for me uh, that I don't need to put the other ones in there um, to keep it closed. So uh, your mileage may vary on that. You might freeze. Um, I'm fairly used to cold weather so it's not a big deal for me. Um, but uh, that might be something that you want. I did get them because I didn't know if I was going to need them, but um, my experience, I probably will never use them. Um, in the summertime, I'll just open up the front vent and, and get all the air that I need. Um, it's a fairly light helmet for its class, um, and uh, I've been really impressed with it. It's, like I said, it's got a really cool look. Um, really aggressive kind of look. They've got some really cool graphics on their web page. Uh, this helmet has a removable visor and it's also got the removable goggles here so those can come out. Um, and uh, actually what's cool about it is on the goggles themselves they've got, um, let's see if I can pop it out here, they've got removable visors so you can just kind of take your lens out um, and uh, and swap it out with whatever you want. I have a clear lens and then I have the uh, polarized lens here. This is the red polarized I believe I got for it. Um, it's a little bit, the red polarization kind of turns it mostly blue in some places. So you do see the red at some angles but mostly blue. Had I known that I probably would have gone with the gold for this helmet. I was looking for a, kind of a red visor look for my polarized lens. Um, something to consider, you know, when you're when you're trying to match colors or whatever. But um, I'll rock this in the daytime, and then I keep in my backpack. I keep my clear one for um, for if I'm going night riding or if it's real dim and I I want a clearer picture. So um, what else can I say about it? Real comfortable helmet, guys. I was actually let me talk about sizing a little bit. So when I ordered, I was a little bit worried. Um, I was right in between a small and a large helmet. And um, I did the measuring. You can on their webpage. They've got a really good um, kind of breakdown with directions on how you should measure your head. And then you input that into a calculator, and it'll give you a suggestion on what helmet you should get for your head size. So I went ahead and did that, and I was right in between um, a small and a medium. So I was a bit worried about that. I decided to go ahead and order the small, um, thinking my I guess my logic on that was. I'd rather have a helmet be a little bit too tight than too loose and wobbling around um, in the event of a crash. So um, I went ahead and I went with the small. Now, when it came, it was extremely, extremely tight, okay? Um, so tight that I was a little worried about it. 
Um, I did contact Ruroc because I was a little bit worried about it, and they offered to send me out. I have, um, let me see, actually, I'll, let me grab it. So, and then I can show you the inside. All right, so this is what they this is what they sent me um, after reaching out to them or offered to send me, and I I, uh, I I appreciate that. So they sent this out. Um, what this is is actually a insert for the um, for the small helmet, and it's a thinner it's got a thinner padding um, than what's inside of here as is, and it's a little bit just thinner, and and uh, and so. The idea is that if I insert this, I'll get a little extra space in, in for my for my head since it's a little bit tight, right? Well, I decided rather than installing that because um, it was kind of funny. They did send me. Uh, they said, "Well, we'll send it to you, but uh, promise not to wear it on the road." So I don't know what that means. I, I I'm assuming what it means is the the sizes of the helmets are only DOT and EC certified for the, uh, the stock padding that's in there and reducing the amount of padding inside of there means that they kind of have to say that for legal reasons because it's not certified with the lower paddings. That's my assumption. I didn't follow up further with that. Um, I just figured, okay, um, that's kind of weird a little bit, but uh, thought about it a little bit and that's my assumption. So um, I never installed it. So I went ahead and just, just rode with this as is. And I will say it did break in a lot. So it's not near as tight anymore. It's very comfortable. I don't have the issues that I felt I was gonna have it with it um, being too tight. I don't have a lot of uh, experience with this class of, of helmet. Um, I did ride uh, trail bikes and uh, what do they call them? ATCs, the three wheelers. We always call them three wheelers. Um, when I was a kid, and we just kind of had the, I don't know what they're called, but they're they are the ones that wrap kind of down here and they're open face. Um, so that's what we always rode with. I, I never did get a, a full face helmet. I always wanted one, um, but uh, parents were pretty frugal, so um, which is understandable. So that's what I had. Um, so I didn't know exactly what I was in for in a full face helmet, and uh, so I was a little bit worried about... Um, Coming from football, I know for a fact that, you know, my head, when I'd have tighter helmets, I would get hot spots and uh, I would get migraines from the helmet itself. Now, most football helmets are a lot heavier than this helmet. On mine, for sure, was. Um, I had a water helmet filled with helmet at one point in time with cushion, and, and uh, so it's a, it's a different ball game for sure, but I was worried about that. So I can tell you with the break-in, I've experienced none of that. Um, it's been comfy for me. I know some people have an issue um, with the padding in here, and they think it's not quite up to snuff with the cost of the helmet. I can't really comment on that honestly because I don't have enough experience with other helmets. I can only comment, you know, with what I'm experiencing with this helmet. So, um, not overly noisy. Um, if I'm ripping at past 45 or hitting 45 kind of in that area, um, I'll hear it a little bit, but it's not something that I really notice or pay attention to. Um, and on the flip side of that, I can hear really well around me. So. Um, I'd rather have a little bit noisier helmet than one that's just super quiet and I can't hear what's going on around me. So um, another reason why I don't ride with earbuds or anything like that, I, I want to hear um, hear everything that, that's happening. So um, again, I'd rather it be a little bit more noisy, but also let me hear more. Um, but again, I'm not saying it's more noisier than, than other helmets and I'm not saying it's quieter than other helmets. I, I'm saying I just don't have enough experience to comment on that. So. Um, other than that, it's been a great helmet for me, it's really comfortable. Um, I get so many questions about this when I go to the gas station, run in or whatever, people are asking me about this. Um, not as much as the Suron X, uh, it's kind of crazy how many questions you get asked about that thing, but, um, but the helmet I get a lot of questions too. So it's a good looking helmet, it draws a lot of attention. Um, if you're not into a lot of attention, maybe it's not the helmet for you or if, if, if that's a kind of a turn off to you, um, it might not be a, an option for you. They do have graphic list ones as well if you just kind of like the aggressive look to it. Um, which is kind of what I liked to begin with. I, I almost went with a, a different pattern, but um, I've got some red accents on the bike, and what really sold me on this ultimately was the red color. Um, but I did like, again, the, the, the kind of what I, what I see as a dragon up top. I, I don't know if you guys can see that. 
Um, the web page kind of shows it a little bit. Um, so to me it looks like a dragon. You can see eyes down here in the head, but um, it is what it is to other people. Um, I will say this one too, the, the other turn on that was kind of uh, good for me was that the visor here has graphics on it. Not all the other Berserker helmets with graphics on them have actual graphics that carry over to the visor. So there's, I think, three or four models that actually carry over to the visor, and uh, this was one of them. This one being, uh, I think, the one that has the most aggressive graphics on the actual visor. So, um, again, the visor is removable. You've just got some, um, some screws here, and then uh, this is the tightening screw for your um, north-south adjustment there so you can kind of play with it. I leave that a little bit loose so I, it doesn't have a lot of adjustment in all honesty um, but uh, it's there. I leave it a little bit loose so that way basically what I can do is cut off this top vent a little bit more if I want to by uh, you know adjusting that so you get a little bit more when it's lined up than when it's not so that's kind of what I use it for as an adjustment for that uh, for that intake for air up top um, other than that, I don't think I can say too much about uh, else about it. I just think it's a really good helmet. Oh yeah, uh, there are a couple of things. Okay, so the the Berserker helmet has um, your traditional uh, D ring kind of uh, kind of strap down here. The Atlas model, which is their more road version, has a magnetic strap. Uh, I would have liked the magnetic strap or have an option on the Berserker. Um, I think that would have been a really cool option and I think I would have dug that a lot more than the the, the D-ring strap. I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of bad about times just hopping on and, and taking off without putting my strap on, which is, is kind of a big no-no. Um, if you whip really hard, your helmet could just whip straight off before you make contact. So um, that's something that I need to get better about, making sure that I, I'm using the strap all the time. Uh, I feel, again, with the Atlas helmet, I would probably use that more. So I don't know. In the future, I may I may check out the Atlas. Uh, I think they've got the 2.0 model, so I think I may check that one out just for the strap alone. Um, if it's the same kind of quality as this, I, I don't think I'd I'd be too um, unhappy about having a second helmet. So um, you've also got the um, emergency poles here for the um, for the. Um, I'm not going to pull them out because when you do pull them out, these straps will actually come out of the hole on one side and it will actually kind of pull it out and then you have to tuck these straps back in and it's kind of a process. But basically what it is is um, for emergency uh, personnel to, to remove your helmet, they, they've got the pull out so you can just pull out these ears for them and they can remove it. It does have the, um, oh, I forget what this is called, but the flap for under your chin to keep it warm. Um, and this is removable as well, um, and uh, and as well as the inside liner, it's removable as well. It's just got some of these snap clips here, um, so you can take that out and, and hand wash it or whatever you need to do. Um, so this does have the option for their um, in the back here. You take this little section out. There's two little screws here in this little plastic uh, insert will come out and you can actually put they have a Bluetooth player um, it's a uh, basically it goes in here um, for the receiver and then you've got some speakers that go in there um, I haven't tried that I might try it in the future especially if I get a, uh, a second helmet from them um, there's some other I mean there's a lot of really cool helmets out there guys and so I, I don't know I'm, I'm debating whether uh, if I want to get the Atlas um, and I have my eye on some other manufacturers as well that I might take a look at first. Um, I will say it was a spendy helmet. It wasn't cheap. What did I pay for this? I think I got it on sale for $2.95. But it might have been $3.95. I can't remember. I got it in um, in their Black Friday sale. And uh, so I, I, can't, I can't... What did I pay for it? It was either $2.95 or $3.95. I can't remember exactly. Anyways, I was pleased with my purchase. Um, I want to say it was more like $3.95 for the helmet. Pleased with my purchase. I, I can't complain about it. Um, it's, it's been a good helmet. It's an attractive helmet. And it's one that I am happy to put on when I go ride. Um, it's not something that I ever want to leave at home. And I think that's probably, in my opinion, um, you know, 
if you have to wear a helmet, if if aesthetic, let's put it this way, if aesthetics matters to you, and you have to wear a helmet, you want it to look cool, right? So um, that was one of the big factors in me ordering this helmet was the cool factor. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, and, uh, you know, that may not be important to you. So if that's the case, maybe something else a little bit cheaper and, and uh, uglier uh, might, be, might be more up your alley. But for me, for the cost, um, for what I'm getting here, I was real happy with it, real pleased. I have no complaints so far about the helmet. And uh, hopefully in the future, I'll be able to bring in more helmets and I can give a little bit more of a comparison. Um, because like I said, right now I don't have a lot of, uh, comparison to even, or any experience to compare it to modern, um, helmets of this type. So, that's something to keep in mind. My experience with, uh, riding, hel riding helmets was when I was a, a teenager, so, um, quite a while ago. So, um, yeah guys, I hope this video was informative. If you have any more questions about it, I'd be glad to answer them. Just drop your comment down in the, uh, down in the um, comments below and, and I'll get to that and I'll answer that question the best I can. Um, and guys, if you do me a favor, if you, you like my content, um, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe and uh, watch my future content. I really appreciate it. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time.